relentlessly and evened it up with a beautiful ultimate on top of everything. Just clutch play, you know, seeing it. But that is what we mean by, you know, real HP and temporary HP. That, you know, that's a key component of this game and really what makes it so interesting. Because if you make a mistake, you're going to pay for it. There's no safety net. There's no healing you back up to full. It's like, oh, you know, pat on the head. It's all right. You know, go back into it, buddy. It's like, no, you screwed up. Now we're at a disadvantage. You got to step up, step your game up and, uh, you know, make up for that. All right. So making up for that, we do have the semifinals coming around. Team Dignitas taking on Bugmon here in the Beyond Gaming BLC Tournament Cup number four. These are the semifinals here, folks. So these are going to be the top four teams of the day. And you see Wisteria there running that inhibitor and Scriff, of course, with that Vanguard. But there's Moak, Moak, Moak. We were talking about him a little bit earlier. A huge Thorn player in the round. But we also have a Gunner, Need Invis. Oni is going to be running that Herald. So Malakor has a run for his money. We're going to get this started right now. Now, I'm a big fan of the Gunner. Going to have to be very interested to see how they go up against Scriff and Wisteria because that's a lot of reflects and disables and that they have to deal with. But already jumping in, Malakor going to get caught here by both Volk and he's going to be landing some shots onto Scriff. Wisteria throwing out those damaging bolts onto Need Invis. He's going to be a little bit. No real big pressure onto Oni yet. Malakor is in the back right now, but Wisteria going to jump over here over on top of Oni. Scriff going to be going down a little bit. Volk throwing down the ultimate, but no, no grab for bringing anyone into that, so a little bit of a waste of energy now. The two lockdowns go down, get the lockdown onto Wisteria as well as Invis. He gets feared, and no real big follow-up onto either of the lockdowns, although Need Invis is actually Invis right now. He's going to be faking out that Execute, not going to be going down. He's going to have some healing going on. Volk Moke is trying to go onto Wisteria. Script jumps in with a good amount of damage, and just everyone's in the corner. That's not where you want to be right now. Big opportunities for AoE. Need Invis still looking really low. Script trying to capitalize on that. It was serious throwing down all this damage. Behind Malakor even jumping in here. Night Invis is going to go down. Looks like he got feared as well. Just at the end, Volk going to be trying to equalize that, trying to take out Malakor, and Script is off in the side with Oni. Oni a little bit too far from Volk, although he is getting those long distance heals. Another ultimate comes oh. down to it. Nothing again is going to be caught into it as Volk to zero for two for his dead roots right now. Oni dropping really good. Script with the taunt. He looks like he's going to be able to finish him off. Gets feared out instead. Going to be picking up that room. You might see a big heroic charge coming out. Might be able to get your soccer announcer. No, it's not going to work. As uh, <laughs> Dig Dignitas. Very impressive round right there. Oh, wow. Not oh, much. yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, look at the damage. Both of them, Scriff and Wisteria, both just you know, carrying their weight, dude. So much damage coming out. How do you deal with that kind of situation? That is insane. And they have the CCs, they have the Chronos, they have the Fears, they have all the tools they need to really shut down this whole team's game. As they have two Reflects as well, so Need and Viz is really going to have to play it tight and play it safe because at any moment, you know, he cannot go for those long cast time abilities like he Execute. He's going to have to wait for those Reflects to go down to be able to get that pressure out there. As already what we got going on here, Mulk Mulk just deciding to get offensive, get in there, start putting the pressure down and doing a job, like a tanking job as he should, <coughs> being as, as annoying as possible. But Scriff, he is sitting with an ultimate. Need and Viz spaces away, and Scriff is going to go for it. 46 damage to the face, and Need and Viz is in a dire situation right now. He is at 40% HP, and all of Team Dignitas on the Warm Team are looking good. They are at full, and lockdowns come out. Great space by Oni to avoid that, though. Good job by him. Good map awareness there. And this is really tightening up here as Scrift, Malakor, and Wisteria taking a little bit of damage. So the tables are getting turned. The tables are getting even here as Wisteria is getting caught out. He is one hit from death. Can Mokbo keep him on there? Yes. The uh, door wall comes out, followed by the lockdown. And this is going to be pretty tight here. This is going to come down to the wire as Need and Viz is getting worked down. Wisteria not going to get his Wuju proc, but Malakor is there. Johnny on the spot to get the heels up and get him back topped off. And uh, look at this, you know, Wisteria getting in there with the double silence. Lots of damage coming out. And this is so close, ladies and gents. Malakor and Wisteria sitting so low right now. Mulk Mulk just needs to stay on there. And he does, he gets it. But Wisteria with the counter kill. Runic Infusion on top of the uh, cold team healer. And this is not looking good for Mulk Mulk right now. Going to go ahead and hide in his wall. Projectiles cannot touch him there. And this is set back up to zero. You know, Need and Viz, oh no, uses his EX ability, 40 damage into the wall. And that is possibly what cost him it there as he was caught out <laughs> with Steria and Scrif collapsing on there for the kill and this is why Team Dignitas is one of the top contenders for the for the you know for the championship as I mean even when it comes down to the wire they produce the results that they need to I mean just flawless play coming out of them all throughout that match but dude this is by far the most exciting game we've had all day 
Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we got our hearts bumping here. We're out of breath by every round. Now, you did say, you know, the big Bertha running into the wall could have made a big difference as that would have knocked them right back. But at this point, Dignitas looking very strong. 2-0 here in round number three. If they take this, the first map is theirs. And that's going to be a big mind game that they're going to be able to play against Bugmon. So Oni trying to get away from Scriff right now. Scriff already has that ultimate ready to go. Wisteria has the lockdown as well. But Scriff throws down the ultimate. Not even going to be waiting for that lockdown, which is a big combo. We like to see Wisteria taking big damage with Mokmok as well. Mokmok looking not too bad. Good to be clumping up this entire team. Would have been a great chance there for a blind, but Need Invis is getting focused a little bit too much, dropping in that hit points a lot. There's the big lockdown. No execute to follow that up either, but Mokmok has, does have the dead roots ready to go. Malakar is looking all right here in the end. Again, it is going to be a corner game. Throwing down the roots again in an interesting angle. Mokmok not really going to be using it for damage. Maybe a little bit more defensive in his usage there, but Scriff and Wisteria still trying to uh, just run down need invis and Volk Mo Oni is off here in the corner but no we get the triple lockdown going down no Scriff wasn't actually locked down another ultimate there from Volk but it was enough Volk Mo actually is the last person alive the lockdown didn't seem to um oh, now whose lockdown was that was that Ma that was Malakor's lockdown then that was Malakor's lockdown, okay, really Malakor, I, you know, I, took a huge risk there. I thought it was because... Odie's, it's like, well, it didn't work, but no, Malakor, wow. I am impressed, man. Yeah, Malakor, you know, not only did he nail Need and Viz in stealth with a fear, this is like psychic, map hacks, man, he knows exactly where you are, it doesn't matter if you're in Viz or not. Just nailed him back into the corner so Need and Viz wasn't able to reposition, and on top of that, he's like, okay, you know, I may be low, but I'm still going to go for the ultimate anyways because that's going to set up for Scriff and Wisteria. They have more real HP. So, you know, even if I go down, with the, you know, the opponents are going to have that damage uh, increasing debuff on them. So Scriff and Wisteria should be able to, wipe, you know, clean this up very nicely. Malakor, of course, able to survive by the skin of his teeth. But damn, man, such close rounds right now. And we got some chat, you know, going on. Uh, both teams, uh, you, know, you know, talking a little bit of smack and really just talking strategy like, you know, they, you know, they need to tighten up the game, etc. But, um... Dude, doesn't get any better than this, man. Malakor, Scriff, and Wisteria just playing top-notch right now. But, you know, to be honest, for not having seen Mulk, Mulk, Oni, and Need and Viz that much in the tournament scene, they are doing remarkably well. Well, we have seen Mulk, Mulk before, but not with this team comp. And, I mean, I uh, just looking at the gunner, always seemed to get focused a lot in those matches. She always had low hit points every time I did look to her. In the second round, she actually survived a long time, which means you know, she was able to deal with that pressure a lot more, get off a lot of that damage, which brought us to that 2v2 in the end. So maybe a little bit of a swap-up is going to be needed for Need Invis. Maybe just something else, a big combo. A big thing I don't understand, though, is Mulk, Mulk's the dead roots. I mean, that ultimate coming out does not seem to be used very offensively because they're always just either on weird angles or maybe they're just trying to hide behind them but that's a huge you know energy dump right there and you're not really getting a lot of return out of them oh yeah dude uh sorry getting a bit you know distracted we got the chat going on here we got some people in the game uh good times you know thunder from uh the uh, giants gaming team is oh, in the from... uh, is yeah he is giants gaming played against them in the ladder earlier that was pretty brutal but um you know giants gaming not qualifying so we're going to have to see, you know, what they're going to do if they're going to decide to fly to DreamHack anyways. They did miss out on the DreamHack qualifiers, got knocked out in the last qualifier, I uh, believe, in the quarters. So that was a bit of a pity there, seeing, uh, you know, one of the sponsored teams, you know, not make it into the finals. But, yeah. you know, these things happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Happens. And, uh, you know, we'll have to see if they uh, decide to show up in any case, you know, because I believe at DreamHack, you know, we'll be able to have like six teams on location that can qualify to participate in the tournament there. Yeah, so, so maybe they'll come back a little bit. Yeah, you know, dude, hope can only hope, dude. I wanted to see those guys there pretty badly because uh, they do have a pretty sexy comp. Um, so big thing here about the Beyond Gaming Tournament Cup number four. This is uh, map number two of the semifinals between Bugmon and Dignitas. And you see that Need Invis is not that gunner this round. It is going to be a Harbringer. Harbringer, of course, very uh, strong melee champion. We just saw Wiki just destroy people in the last game with him uh, on the quarterfinals. So we're going to get it started here. Oh, Mokmo wow. pulling in Malakor and Scrift going to be trying to jump right between them, take a lot of that damage. But uh, Oni is going to be in the back. And we're going to have to see what Need Invis can do with this Harbringer. Scrift Riff getting damaged a little bit there. Mulk already has that ultimate ready to go. I don't know how he does it every single time. But we do got the t double pull going on. They were clumped up for a moment there. Mulk's just going to hang on to that ultimate. He's going to space on over. Find Mysteria. There's the dead wrist. Is going to land a good amount of damage there on the Malakar. But again, with no real follow-up with the Defile plants. Not pulling anyone into them. So Need Invis is going to be down here with Mysteria.
Wisteria. Wisteria throwing down the ultimate, however, swapping around their HP ratios as Mulk is going to get feared off by Malagor. He's going to have to space back in. Oni is going to be trying to space on out. And so is Need Invest, because he is just dropped with the Scrift. Intercept, not the ultimate, but it is going to be the intercept. He's going to be trying to keep into melee range here. Need Invest <coughs> not looking so great as his temporary hit points are coming out. Oh, the lockdown! Double lockdown onto Need Invest, but there's no ultimate ready for Scrift. Scrift just gets it up, and there it is. is just going to throw it down onto Invest. But we do have the counter. Lockdown go on, gets popped immediately by Need Invest. Not looking so good. Again, a, do a dead ridge from all. There we go! That's what we need. We needed the Defile Plants right into there to bring in Wisteria, as he is now down Scrip is going to have to go 2v3 with Malachard. We have seen some good stuff come out of him today, but I don't know. This Oni, he's keeping everyone nice and healthy. Both doing some good damage going down on the Scrip, keeping him busy. And Need is trying to go on to Malachard. Is he going to get out of this? He's going to nether shift out. And no, Scrip is like no dice. He's just going to jump right into there, but he's going to take some back hits here from Mulk. And Mulk with the dead roots again. Going to be throwing them out. No, look at that Chrono right there. Going to be saving his life. But yeah, this means that the Bugmon finally has a, a round in their pocket. And what a convincing round, dude. I mean, they just completely controlled the map throughout that match. Need and Viz doing a great job landing Shadow Bolts and the Pulse Afflictions all over the place. And But it's really, you know, coming down to Mulk Mulk, dude. This guy unrelenting. 913 damage done. That is insane. And on top of that, you know, with beautiful ults this time, you know, not wasting them against the wall, not, you know, kind of like questionable use where he's like putting him off into the corner, etc. He's, uh, you know, he really, you know, managed to get some nice kills with that ability. So clutch play coming out from Mulk Mulk and really script with Stereo Malik where they need to tighten things up here. You know, we're not seeing the level of play that we're used to out of uh, Team Dignitas as look at this, you know, script going to go ahead and get rooted with Stereo. Gets his Wuju uh, proc, so he's going to be able to reposition here. Silence goes out onto Oni, and this could be a uh, prime position here for Scriff to start landing some damage as he goes on there. Max uh, heroic charge onto Need and Viz, and his life disintegrates. Need and Viz is so close to death right now, and if only Scriff can keep the pressure up there. Nether Shift comes out in the nick of time, but as Nether Strike. Uh, Scrip is going to get silenced for 1.5 seconds. He's not going to be able to get that guaranteed kill. With Steria spacing in there, just being really aggressive. And Scrip just trying to get another ulti because that would spell doom for the cold team right now. He has it. And can he set up for it is the big question. As, oh no, Scrip scripts it. It is out in the middle of nowhere. And right now, Wisteria is so low. Malachor trying desperately to get some heals up. And the runic infusion coming out and getting interrupted. But Scrip there, Johnny on the spot, gets the kill. And this is three versus two. But by no means are Mulk Mulk and Oni out of this. Scrip is so close to death right now. Forced to use that battle shout and get some additional heals out. You know, that's 40 energy, but that heal can really make the difference here. As Oni gets caught in the corner, Oni, you know, getting rooted. And that is it. Wisteria and Scrip both landing ranged abilities on him, guaranteeing that kill. Mulk Mulk going to go ahead and use his EX ability to get 32 heals out. But that is not going to make any difference at all. Malakor's lockdown gets completely uh, dodged. And, dude, ah, uh, you know doesn't get any better than this man who can ask for better games it's always you know quarter semis you start getting up into those top brackets you really got the cream you know rising to the top and man can't can't get any better <laughs> i'm just like at a loss for words love <laughs> this game all right, well, you go inject yourself there with some nerd blood. Get back in, your head back into here, but 1-1, one, one, Team Dignitas and Bugcom as they're just going head-to-head. Mokmok -head. consistently doing highest damage in TPS right now as he is just a machine to reckon with. Need Invis, so dropping a little bit here in the CPS and the damage value. And then look right now, already so oh. low. Scrip going to jump over here, not going to let his prey get away from him with even a strike right there. No taunt, but he does get grabbed by Need Invis. Only so a very, you know, concentrated on trying to keep him alive. He's taking more damage than he really should be right now from Wisteria. We do got the Shadow Bolt go off to no effects. Only going to jump over here. Bolt can only do so much. One versus three, but we do got Wisteria with the Rooting Infusion. That's going to be enough to take out Odi. And now Scrip going to be taking down Need Invis. So a total turnaround right there as it just looks like Need Invis is getting caught with too many abilities early on. And that really forces Oni to, to kind of focus down and not go as offensive as they need to be right now. But Mulk again, top of those CPS. But Scrip was some amazing damage. How did he get almost 300 energy that round? I'll never know. Dude, he reflected two Shadow Bolts onto Need Invis. He was in the thick of it. He landed everything and he picked up the rune. So he had his Rogue Charge right off the bat. You know, great lockdown in cap, you know, with uh, his Woji by Wisteria. Going to get that space on there. Going to get that in cap. Sets up for that first heroic charge. And already Need Invis is so low. And once again, you know, just script 
car not carrying, but just doing an excellent job of getting that pressure out there, that early pressure that really turns games around, as he's going to go ahead and space in there once again, gets that shield slam onto Oni, going to reduce healing, done, and Oni, you know, right now, getting nailed by that taunt, Scriff once again is sitting with the full ultimate, he's backing up, and here it is, comes out, Oni, 48 damage to the face, gets knocked out, and Scriff is going to reposition himself and try and get some counter pressure going, as Multbulk and Need and Viz, in the meantime, are going to work on his teammate, Wisteria is sitting pretty low right now, Malakor is sitting with the full ultimate though as well, so he should be able to get it out there pretty soon. Gonna guarantee that the cold team does not pick up that rune energy, runic, uh, you know, rune whatever energy thing, as uh, Lockdown is coming out, does not hit a soul, but that doesn't matter, it's Swift gonna get the kill onto Oni, Max Reigns heroic charge once again, cleans it up with some few axe swipes, and that is it, three versus two, Wisteria is pretty low, and multiple doing a good job not procking that Wuju, but you know, this is going to be such a tough situation to come back for from for the cold team as they are just so low right now. You know, the life lead is in Warm Team's favor as Swift, you know, go ahead, use that battle shout, get some extra healing out on his teammates. Just really not give any opportunity at all for cold team to make a comeback here as what is this? The rune wall comes, the, the root wall comes out, but Swift not caught in it. And this is going to be wrapping it up. Good games, well played should come out because man, what an epic match we just had. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really get too much better than this unless this was a game number three. And, but unfortunately, it is going to be a Dignitas 2-0 victory in the map as they will be moving on to the finals here of the Beyond Gaming Cup number four qualifiers. It's, that means, since this is the semis, we have at least one more match to be looking at here as the top four teams. And uh, I think we're going to be looking at Virtual Men versus... Who was the other qualifier? Virtual Man and somebody, but we're going to bring that up right here onto the stream live for you guys.